Welcome back, blade lovers. This old sword with you. And we're taking a look at SRM again today. I have, I believe, four other SRM knives. A uh, short for San Renmu, but um, they also say on their packaging, stay ready for more. So, SRM, stay ready for more, or San Renmu, your choice. Comes in a simple box with a small catalog inside. And that's about it. Pretty Spartan. I liked this one, and this model, which you will see in the title, is the SRM 9215. It's in D2 with a black and blue G10 handle that looks like it's emulating the wrapped cord handle of a Tonto or Quaken. I'm going to call this style blade Quaken. It's very similar to models that you see um, designed by Lucas Burnley for Boker. This one, however, has a locking bar or axis style lock. Very smooth. Appears to be on bearings, although I haven't uh, taken it apart. There is the SRM logo on the pivot. And what appears to be a T8 on the other side. We have a disc for opening on top. And I should back out a little. And that's what we have. A longish blade, a long slender handle with plenty left over. I'll give you a quick look around. It's nicely done, even though we've got the faux cord wrapped handle, the pattern, the diamond pattern at least, with the black over the blue. It's a bright blue, like a sky blue. The um, lock works very smoothly. You can either flip it open by pulling back on them, just as with an able lock or an axis lock. We can also uh, simply use the thumb disc to snap it open pretty easily. And uh, all in all it's smooth with a deep carry clip. That deep carry clip fits in a slot on either side, so your lefty, you lefties are in luck. We have kind of an interesting protuberance there coming out of the backspacer for a lanyard. I don't often like those, but it doesn't really get in the way too much on this one. The um, action, as I said, is smooth. Lock up, no wiggle, no lock rock. We're going to take some measurements on this guy. Nice EDC for about $50 from White Mountain. Less your 10% discount, so you're talking 45 bucks. Not bad. If we take it right out to that end of that uh, lanyard hole, we've got 8.5 inches. We've got a blade of about 3 and 5 eighths, cutting edge about the same. For thicknesses, we're talking pretty slim, 0.44 across the handle, and we've got some cutouts in there that are shaped in a diamond sort of pattern, similar to the design on the handle. If we take the blade thickness right behind the disc, 3 millimeters, we can double check that by doing a partial fold and gripping it again three millimeters. Good. Weight wise pretty light knife so let's see what we've got. Yeah just over three ounces 3.06 ounces nice and light.
So that's about what we've got for a handle in my medium large hands. A good inch and a half sticking out. And got a good blade. No jimping here, but you can sort of use the disc to stop the thumb pretty effectively. Got the swedge at the top there. Otherwise, a long, pretty much trailing point, traditional Tonto style blade. So the whole thing has a slight gentle curve from the handle through to the point. And I think for 50 bucks, less discount, it's um, pretty ruggedly, um, I don't know if rugged is the right word, strongly constructed lockwise knife. There's a good spring detent. You can see that move. Very familiar to you if you know axis lock, if you know able lock, if you know XR lock on the SOGS. It's a bar locking mechanism. And um, they provided pretty good stop pins, pretty good size for the knife, pretty good thickness. As I said, very tight. No sign of wiggle whatsoever. So we have other SRMs on the table. If you want to go a little more expensive, we're talking about 115 or 20 for the Asika by SRM. And this one has a 154cm blade and a titanium handle. It's a frame lock. Very nice knife. heavier knife. We have uh, this guy here, if, unless it's imprinted on the blade, that's the 1162 and that is in Sandvik. That has a steel handle with a uh, carbon fiber style insert and some nice millwork on the handle. Also a Tonto style blade. And we've got a front flipper here. Reviews on all of these up on the channel, by the way. This is kind of an unusual one. Now this is in uh, N690. And this is the 1421TP. Frame lock knife. Steel handle, not titanium. And um, not sure what the ballpark is on that one right now, but... This guy, as I said, is 50 bucks, is three ounces, is deep carry, has a longer than average blade, being kind of between three and a half and three and three quarter inches, and might be worth your consideration. If you like deep carry, got a little jimping there, got a little jimping up there. Since we don't have any guard, might help you a little bit in gripping the knife. But it folds nicely into the hand. It's very neutral. Can be held many different positions. And uh, I find the uh, Japanese style handles to be very useful in positioning the knife and repositioning the knife very easily. So, there you have what I'm calling the SRM Quaken, model number 9215. And it comes in, uh, I think, a red handle color as well. I'll put the link up on the, in the description of this video. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. This Old Sword, signing out.